oil, and from this on the world economy. And we see what happened only the last three days when riots in Egypt, what this caused the prices of oil. Imagine what will happen if Iran, nuclear Iran, God forbid, will do some things with the oil of the Gulf. And this is how they can control the world's economy on the way to undermine the stability of the Western world, which is built on economy. This is not something which I made up. This is something which they write, they say, they preach. And I'm not claiming that all the Muslims in the world are uh, combatants of the Jihad. Not at all. Many of them, I would say most of them, are good willing people. Bona voluntatis. Those who could live with everyone in peace, whether in Europe, in America, even in Williamsburg, Pennsylvania. Definitely. However, a small minority of zealots, of radicals, are controlling everybody there. And this is the issue. An armed one single man in a whole of thousand people can force those thousand people to sing in his praise. Because he is with a Klachnikov, with a rifle. And he, being one single, doesn't, ma doesn't matter. Democracy does not work in these environments. And because the small minority of the radicals is violent, is armed to its teeth, and is ready to use their weapons, and actually uses it, as we see in Lebanon and other places, the, the voice of the majority, of the silent majority of Muslims, who are good people and have maybe not, don't have this, don't share this idea of world jihad, constant jihad, they are intimidated with majority and they unwillingly follow the radicals who are dictating their agenda on the others, while the others have no power to resist, no word to say. And this is the problem, because democracy doesn't work in these violent societies. Democracy, according to Islam, is something which they cannot take, especially those radicals. Democracy is freedom of the person, is freedom of women, is freedom of the media, is political uh, uh, rights, is freedom of religion, freedom even from religion, unfortunately. This is what a, a freedom, every democracy is. Every kind of freedom, as long as you don't harm your neighbor and, and your wife or whoever you, you can harm. In these societies, freedom is unknown because according to the Quran, every Muslim is in charge of his brother, his sister, and if they go astray, he is in charge of correcting their ways. In Islam, freedom of women is unheard of. Islamic young lady, generally, traditionally, is not allowed even to espouse her father, her brothers, are those who determine her life and with whoever she's going to spend her life. A woman in Saudi Arabia cannot go to the street by herself. She has to be accompanied by a man from the family, either a husband, son, father, brother, because they are afraid that those women will go astray. God forbid. As if those women are not allowed to drive cars by themselves because who can control them? They can drive astray. Me, as a Hebrew speaker, I can play with English, you know. Uh, these societies view women as something more or less baby machines. Of course, uh, women do resist today, do say uh, what they want today, 
in many cases, especially using the anonymity of the internet. This is the new discourse. But this discourse, all of a sudden, freedom of women, which comes from the back door, is frightening those zealots who are, who are afraid that the West is the party which sends all its messages against Islam into the Islamic societies by the media, which was invented by the West, especially the TV, permissiveness, use, use of uh, makeup, which, which they ban, use of uh, perfumes, which they ban, all these kinds which are connected with Western, uh, 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 Western culture of the last generation, especially since the year of the women's sleep, which undermine their societies because they, these values or modern values of the modern societies, especially birth control and all these things, are infiltrating into their society and they are more than sure that America is behind the, this whole campaign to corrupt the women and girls. And therefore America should be fought against. It was very clear also in the sermons, in the speeches of uh, Osama bin Laden, uh, which were uh, published. This is why the West is dangerous in their view, because the West, as it is today, permissive and infiltrating into their societies via the mass media, which can penetrate every home, every household, through the TV, through the internet, through the newspapers, through the radio, is aiming at corrupting their society. This is why this jihad, which is waged against the West, regardless of Israel, waged against the West, is something which is sacred to those zealots who, instead of kicking out the TV from home, cut out the internet from your home. No, they install uh, 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 dishes to intercept uh, satellites, they install TV sets at home, they install uh, 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 radios at home, they have internet, they have fast, fast link to every house, they have newspapers and women's magazine, and they blame the West for broadcasting all this, what they call filth, which enters their societies and corrupts the women and the girls. This way of delegating the responsibility on others instead of checking what's wrong with themselves, where are the problems with themselves, it's much easier to blame the other. It's much easier to send the, prob the problem to others, to export their jihad against the others instead of looking at the mirror and to see, and to see their own problems in the mirror. When you take a tour in a desert in Libya, in Saudi Arabia, in Pakistan, in Jordan, in all these countries, you can see very easily tens of Bedouins who are living out there in the desert. Okay, they like to live in the desert. In the middle of nowhere, no electricity, no running water, no sewage, no nothing. But if you reach, if you approach those tents, you can see that behind the tent there is a dish. On the on the ground, and the dish is connected to a TV in the living heart. It's not living room, it's living tent. And, and it's fed by 12 volt electricity which comes from the car. Because they don't have uh, lines of, uh, of, of electricity over there. Okay, so the car will not feed the refrigerator or the washing machine or the dryer or the microwave for the wife. It only feeds the TV and the receiver for the Effendi who watches, you can imagine what. And he, and he curses America and Europe for disseminating this filth. Okay? This is why, another reason, why jihad should be waged against those who try to corrupt us with those filthy means.